Good morning. This is Around the House with Kay and Tom. This morning, I am going to fix some kebabs with, um, I bought a box of sirloin steak tips. But what I did last night is I put up with some Worcestershire sauce marinating. I've had them marinating. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have onion, potatoes, and some green peppers. And I'm going to put them in my Ninji XL Pro cooker. And we're going to lay them on this rack. So the first thing I want to do is I want to spray my rack real good. I'm just going to put that under it just so it doesn't leave it so bad on my counter. Maybe they'll keep it sticking just a little bit. And we're just going to set it out of the way for the time being. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to cut up our meat and I'm going to put them on the metal cabal brush. Enough meat to know you've got some. I first didn't know whether or not I should marinate them or not, but then I took a piece and I cut it and it sure did seem a little tough. So I thought, well, let's just do it so we have something we can work with. So we've got our meat ready to cut up. Our potatoes, I just, I have just quartered the potatoes. These are red potatoes. I did not not peel them. I've just got the potatoes ready. And we're going to cut us up some sliced green pepper to put on there. Again, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. Hope y'all are having a nice day. As always, it's going to be a little warm down here today. So we've got our green pepper cut up. And I cut them up in pretty good sized pieces so that when we put them on this, it will go through and have something to hold on to. And we're going to put our onion. Nothing is good unless it's got an onion. So let's get an onion. I've got one already peeled. The same thing with the onion. I need to cut it in pieces big enough to go in between your meat on your kebab. I just happen not to like that center piece. So I'm just going to take that out. That should be enough. So let's see if we can't get one of these started. So we're just going to put them just put the meat in it and let's just see let's put a onion next to our meat so that the juice will go into that then let's get us a potato another piece of meat another piece of onion and another potato slide it down on there like this you can actually put it any way you want to. You don't have to have it a certain way. You don't have to have the meat first. You can, or some people say if you put the um, onion first, it sometimes does better. I don't, I don't know. I just thread it through any way I can, whatever I pick up. What is that old saying? It's no big deal how you do it. It's the outcome that matters, All right? meat. There's the green pepper this time next to the... I might have cut that. No, it went on there. I thought maybe I had cut that piece of onion too, too thin, but it went on there. I'm actually winding up with a little bit more meat than I thought I would have, so let me see if I can do make one more and use up my meat. This last one is just going to be whatever's left over on this table right at this time. Well, that's about all I can put on this one. I actually have two pieces of meat left, so I'm going to go back and just stick it on the end of this, these two right here that 
Looks like I've got a little bit of space. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay them. Get them. And I get them a little bit further apart. Let's put them up and down. That would be good. Okay. This is my Ninji XL cooker foodie. We're going to go up here at the very top where it says power. We're going to turn it on. It says air, it says whole roast, air roast, air fryer, bake, dehydrate, broil, toast, bagel, pizza, and preheat. I think today we're going to do air roast for, and we're going to leave the temperature at 350 and we're going to say start. This is going to preheat. I put it on for 20 minutes, but I'm really only going to cook it for 15. But I want it to preheat before I put my kebabs in here. And I'm going to set them on the third rack. And I've got a pan underneath it because they will drip. And I want it where I can just take it out and clean it up real good. So we're going to see how long it will take for this to preheat shouldn't take but a very short few minutes while my oven is preheating I'm gonna just take some olive oil and I'm just gonna spray just a little bit on this try not to let them not much just so they won't be dry okay my heat my stove has told me that it is heated I've just looked at it again and so I went over here and I've set this up to um, 380 and because it looks like it was cooking mighty slow so I'll check it again in just a few minutes but it sure does smell good already okay it has just beat cat me and told me it has cooked and it cooked for 19 minutes I wasn't intending for it to cook that long but that's okay let's just see what we've got I'm going to take the tray out and I'm going to put it over here on a on a mat. Okay, it cooked for 19 minutes and 34 seconds. Potatoes seem to be done. So let's put one on a plate. Well, it does look good. I'm going to put two of them on here so you can see a good view of it. And that is nothing but beef, tip, beef and an onion, green pepper, and you just stack them any way you like. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on one of them and give it a try. Very hot, I know that. Okay, I have taken one off of the skewer and we're just going to see what we've got. Let me cut into the meat. Oh, that's tender. See about the potatoes. Very good. Oh, the onions, I believe I can eat right by themselves. And the green peppers. And this looks like a little tasty meal to me. Again, this is just the sirloin st steak potatoes, onions, and green peppers, salt and pepper, and again, this is around the house with Kay and Tom, 